Hey guys, this is Jessica from the Hawthorne Company. I'm just going to be going over my candle studio since I've had some questions on storage units and the best way to store it when you're pouring from home and just some like, general ideas and hopefully someone can take something out of this. So what I did is I converted my master bedroom into a candle studio. So we'll start off with this shelf first. This shelf is where I keep my fragrance oils currently. Um, it is an Ikea shelf. I believe it was around $150 to $200. Um, but this is where I store all of my fragrance oils. <clears throat> and as you can see here, I also have these cool little tops that fit the wooden wick as well as candle science and flaming candle. Um, but this is basically so I don't spill my fragrance oil when I pour it. And these two boxes here I have labeled with chalk tags and chalk paints. And this is where I keep my wicks. And this is where I keep my some of my waxes. And that pretty much takes care of that shelf. And then over here I have two IKEA dressers pushed together. These are $69 each. And I use this for storage as well. And dressers are great because, well, they don't have to be just for clothes. So this is where I have my soaping supplies. And then I have vessels down there as well. And I protect it with this heat resistant mat cover that fits across both of these perfectly. And I really, really like this idea of using dressers um, as kind of like a workspace because why not? It gives you extra storage and it kind of hides it so it looks a little cleaner. This here is my wet bath canner. I believe that's what it's called. Um, I got it from Soylite. It's 45 pound capacity, I believe, and it's $300. This here is a 99 pound weight limit printer stand, which I put my big beast guy here. Um, it's pretty hefty and heavy, so I was really, really struggling on what to put this on um, to kind of keep it off my surface. And this fits it perfectly. Again, it's 99 pounds, so I don't have to worry about it um, falling apart. And then the cool part about it is that it also has uh, storage underneath. So I keep my scale here, napkins, and then I have eye drops right there to have easy access in case, you know, I overfill my fragrance oil or something like that. And then I have two floating shelves here. I have more, I just haven't put them up yet. Um, this is where I test all my testers. And then this is just packaging ideas. And then I have my pegboard. Uh, these are two put together. This is also from Amazon. Um, I have my wick clippers, my scissors. These pouring pots are about $10 each. They're the size of my hand. They hold 30 ounces. And I have so many because when I pour multiple testers, I don't want to have to keep cleaning out the same pot. It's ridiculous, takes a long time, and I just want to kind of get them done. So I kind of have one for each fragrance. Um, this is a microwave stand, a floating microwave stand that my um, Presto pot is on and basically I keep it for more storage as well. So what I'll do is I'll have my scale here, you know, my pouring pot on top of the scale and then I'll put it, um, I'll put the wax into there from the Presto pot. So it kind of just makes it um, easier to work with as well. So moving on here, this is my little double boiler station. Uh, this here is a cheap cart that I also got from Amazon. I keep mostly uh, wax melt molds, things like that in this, and then more napkins, my hot plate, my cheap pot, and another large um, melting pot. And then here, I don't have it on there right now, but this is a paper towel rack holder that also doubles as a shelf. And then I have my cotter pins for keeping my wick secure on that as well. So moving on, I have this awesome pouring space. Uh, this is a kitchen island cart. Um, it's stainless steel. It cleans off super easy and it has more storage on it as well. 
I have my heat gun on the side along with the napkin. Um, I could probably fit about two dozen candles on here for pouring. And then I have a kitchen drying rack, which is right here. This was a little expensive. Um, I think this was over $100 for this kitchen drying rack, which is ridiculous hindsight, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it. Um, and then I keep basically uh, tools on there, so like thermal heat gun, the current wicks that I'm using or testing, and uh, lighters, uh, wick tools, things like that, I will keep as storage on this. And this shelf, I don't know if I said it a minute ago, but this shelf was inexpensive. I think it was around $150 for this rolling cart. Um, super useful, and I keep napkins on it as well. Uh, moving on, we have my desk, which has my iPad, my candle testing book, which I got from shopcleancanvas.com, and I have my laptop, along with my current lineup, which is changing, but it's there. Um, I have the infamous printer in our group. Um, it is the HP Color Laser Jet Pro MFP M479FDW. This is a heavy duty printer. It prints fantastically. The ink doesn't smudge, it's quick. It has really great quality as well. So that is definitely one I would recommend if you are looking for a printer. Uh, moving on to this side of the room, I have my 1000 weight limit foldable um, industrial shelf and I have six um, storage units here that I also got from Amazon and they're cute because they have little wood lids <laughs> and polka dots. But uh, I basically got everything on here from Amazon. Um, I keep my photography props on it. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of dried flowers lined up on it right now. More storage up top. And then here is where I keep my inspiration. So basically when I want to test out a new jar look or anything like that, um, I keep them here. And that's because I keep the others in storage. And I don't want to have to pull them out every time I want to try a new look or a new line. So I keep them out in the open so I can reference back to them later. And then these baskets are filled with like wax melt stuff, packaging, paper, things like that. Um, I have a day bed and it's not made right now, so I apologize, but I keep vessels underneath it as well. So underneath my day bed, I keep them um, here in their original packaging and that just keeps them out of the way for me. And then finally, I have my tester shelf. This is where candles go to die. So these are testers that um, failed. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. Um, I'm going to melt these down and basically wash the jar out and reuse them for more testers. Uh, I would not sell these. So um, we also have my uh, trash can, which is motion active. So that's pretty much that. All right, so if you guys have any questions of where I got anything or anything like that, um, just go ahead and leave me a message and I will try to get the links for you. All right, bye guys.